Hello everyone, it's Phil the Harness Doctor. In today's video, we're gonna be performing a radio module software update on my 2021 Silverado LT 1500. Now, these instructions were provided by the folks at White Automotive and Media Services. I was sent an email link for the software download. And before we get started, I wanted to talk about some of the challenges that I was faced with. As you can see here, I've got several different USB flash drives. This one here is a 256 gig SanDisk USB 3.0, 16 gig, an 8 gig, and an 8 gig. And in the instructions provided by White Auto and Media Services, the instructions speak about saving this software onto a 2.0 USB flash drive with at least 4 gigs of storage. So the actual download itself is 2 gigs. And when I followed the instructions, I had difficulty getting this to work on all of these flash drives except for this one here on the far right. And so this one is actually a USB 2.0 flash drive. And you can tell the difference between 2.0 and 3.0 if you see the insert being blue on your flash drive. That's a 3.0 USB drive. And I had difficulty on that along with some other 2.0 USB flash drives. So I had success with this one here. So if you have any issues with this update, uh, just know that I did have some issues with these other flash drives. So let's get started. The email that I received from White Automotive and Media Services has a link. You click on this link. Let me zoom in here for you. So in the email, you can see I received the link to download the software update. You click on this link, it'll open up a browser window and it'll begin the download. Once the download is complete on my Mac operating system here, it already decompressed the file. You can see the file here. And if I insert my flash drive and open up the flash drive, you see my flash drive is empty. I've got nothing in the root directory of this flash drive. So we open up the folder that the software downloaded to and we open the folder up and we wanna copy all the contents of the folder. You don't want to drag and drop the folder. You wanna open the folder up, select all the items in this folder and you wanna copy that over to the flash drive. So we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it into the flash drive just like that. So this is gonna take a few minutes. Once this is done, you're gonna remove the flash drive and then take it over to the truck. And the time it takes to do this will vary on your computer. So we'll let that go and then we'll eject the flash drive and we'll take it over to the truck. So here we are in the truck. I am sitting in the passenger seat, not the driver's seat. This update is about a 25 minute to half hour update. And if you're sitting in the driver's seat, if you decide to exit the vehicle, you will kill power to the truck and you'll kill the update in that process. So just be sure you're doing this from the passenger seat or if you wanna sit and wait for the update to happen, you can do it from the driver's seat. The truck needs to be in run mode. And since my truck is pushed to start, to get into run mode, you want to press and hold the start button. You do not want to start the truck. And again, why we're doing this from the passenger seat. So press and hold the push to start button. And your truck will be in run mode. You can see the green light will be on the run mode here. Uh, if you press and release that button, you're going to be in accessory mode. So make sure you press and hold until the cluster lights up. If you have a keyed ignition, put the key in the ignition and turn it all the way to run mode and leave it there. Insert your flash drive into the front USB port. If you don't have a front USB port, you can do it from the jump seat USB or your center console USB. So we're going to go ahead and put the uh, USB flash drive now. And you should be prompted with an update on the radio and it looks just like that. So again, it says it's a 30 minute update. You can hit the learn more button on here. It'll give you the file name and you can hit details if you want. It'll say this is gonna take about 30 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and hit the install button. So it's gonna give you uh, some information here. Make sure the vehicle is in park, the vehicle ignition off, and then we're gonna program. So we're gonna turn the ignition off and it's gonna say, 
This update may take up to 30 minutes. Park in a secure location, and we're going to hit install. Uh, while the update is happening, it will give you some information that your vehicle will be disabled. You cannot be driven, so door locks, windows, chimes may not work if you leave the vehicle. Do not leave occupants inside. So we're going to hit the install now button. So again, this is going to take about 30 minutes, so we're going to let this go, and then we'll come back once this is complete. All right, so we're back in the truck. The update is complete. When I looked earlier, I did see a status bar that said 99%. Uh, once that completed, everything shut off. I heard some clicks, and now we've got a uh, splash screen here saying that the system is upgrading, and we are optimizing the apps at this moment. All right, so the truck rebooted, power went off, we are back on, and now we are on the next phase of installing the update, and it looked like it just now said the update is complete, so we're going to hit the OK button, and the system must restart in order to complete the process. Turn the vehicle off, open and close the driver door, wait at least for two minutes before starting the vehicle, so we're going to go and do that now. All right, we're going to hop into the driver's seat and get the truck started. Let's take a quick peek at the settings. And it looks like we've got an August 24, 2021. And our update is complete. So if you're wondering why we're performing this update, uh, the version that I currently had on my radio is version 155. And so if you have version 155, there are going to be about 50 enhancements or bug fixes with this update. Uh, this update is version 158. Uh, if your version of your radio software is below version 155, there are going to be several hundred bug fixes and updates with this upgrade. So this upgrade is available for free from White Auto and Media Services if you completed their wireless CarPlay upgrade kit. Uh, or if your truck is still under factory bumper to bumper warranty, you can get this upgrade done at your dealership. It does require a dealer visit. So um, if you want a list of all the bug fixes, I'll put that in the description down below. Once the upgrade is completely finished, you can remove the USB flash drive as you'll no longer need it. Well folks, that'll do it for now on this radio software update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing and liking the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to get to each and every one of those questions. And if you haven't done so yet, hit the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date on all future video releases by me, Phil, the Harness Doctor. Until next time, we'll see you on the next one.